Hello everybody, Jake here for FM Scout and in today's video I'm going to be showing you an elite level left winger or right winger or striker, wherever you want to play him, we're using him as a left winger, that you can sign for only £1.5 million or less. He's a wonder kid who starts off at the age of 16, I'm surprised no one's talking about him as much as they should be, he's a top level player and I think even if he doesn't reach the higher end of his potential, which we'll be showing you today, I think he'll still end up being a player that will bring that money back tenfold and if nothing else can provide value for your team, but I think if you give him a bit of development, maybe fit him into your first team squad at some point in his career, he'll end up being a top player for you. He's got all the tools to do it. So we're going to show him off. But before we get into that, I'd just like to say a few things. If you do enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button. It always means a lot when you guys do hit that like button, both to me and for the fact that it helps push these videos out to more people. And on top of that, if you'd like to comment down below who you'd like to see in future episodes of this Wonder Kid to Superstar series, or you just like to get involved, feel free down below. It's always nice to hear from you guys. And finally, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the best Football Manager content. We are getting quite close now to the time when usually SI do release the updated squads after the January transfer window. It'll probably be in a couple weeks from now, usually towards the end of February, at which point we're going to see not just new transferred players, but new Wonder Kids too, who are going to try and get to you as soon as possible. So hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and let's get into today's video. So we are here in the Eredivisie in Holland, and we are here with AZ Alkmaar, where we're going to find the player that we're using today in our under-16 team. We've already promoted him into the first team. He's going to play three seasons at AZ Alkmaar. You guys can sign him, as I did say, for about £1 million, £1.5 million, something like that. I've tried a few times, and, and it usually works out like that. He is available to be approached to sign because he's on a youth contract contract but he doesn't seem readily wanting to leave AZ unless you actually put a formal bid in for him at which point he's happy to join you for a million-ish pounds with around three grand a week. I tested that with a championship team and with Hertha Berlin in Germany so it looks like if you're playing for a decent reputation side even if it's like a championship team you can probably get your hands on this guy or if you're not in the top five leagues but are actually going to give him some game time you should be okay there. So here he is Ernest Poku and before you guys go oh this guy doesn't actually look very good there's nothing really that special about him he does have quite a high potential range as you know always in these videos I always mention that wonder kids have a potential range so the maximum ability a player can have is like 200 that's like Messi Ronaldo levels and as wonder kids are young we don't know how they're going to develop in real life so SI give them a range of values that they could fall into for example 130 to 160 140 to 170 you get the idea I never like to reveal the potential range to you guys until later in the video just in case anyone doesn't want it spoiled but this guy has the potential to go very far and even if he doesn't reach like the best end of his range he will still sell on for a nice little profit or he'll end up being a good player for you now you'll see the pen here I always mention this and I always get a few people commenting saying I've cheated I've put in new attributes for him so he looks better I don't do anything like that all I do like I say is put his potential range on the higher end of his range and I've said it multiple times I don't actually max it out so he can actually be better than you guys see in these videos this is just like on the high end kind of best case scenario I suppose for this player but as I have said if he doesn't do so well I think he'll still be a really good player for you so looking at him what's special about him why is he any good? Well, it's Ernest Poku, the 16-year-old Dutch international found in AZ Alkmaar's under-18s. They rate him as a two-star left winger with the potential to be five-star. Now, the great thing about Ernest Poku is that he is a left winger, a striker, and the right winger and can play them all quite easily because he is either footed he likes to move into channels and likes to try and beat the offside trap physically for a 16 year old he's actually doing pretty well for himself this will grow over time of course but physicals are so important in the match engine that i think that would do him a world of good in the actual in game in terms of scoring goals and assists mentally he's actually quite good for a 16 year old too off the ball flair determination and anticipation at a decent level and then nothing much in the area of technicals with 11 dribbling now as an either footed winger you'd kind of like him to have a lot more technicals in this but we're going to see how he turns out i've simulated nine seasons i haven't looked at too much details yet but i do three seasons here and then we'll reveal where we send him after three seasons so we're now going to simulate three seasons time after i just quickly show you how we are training him so we have him on the final third additional focus so we should see a big increase alongside everything else but a main increase in decisions and composure training him as an inside forward on the left side with double intensity and then if we go to training and to mentoring he's being mentored by a fairly determined man Imran Vlar, a team leader with determination of 16 and then this guy who I don't really know Frederick he has 16 determination and is a perfectionist so hopefully this will rub off on Poku rub off rub, rub off he's not a frog and hopefully his determination will go a little bit higher than 12 so 
He's got all the tools he needs to be a good player. Naturally, you're probably not really going to play him at the age of 16. You might be able to just buy him, leave him in your youth team or loan him out or something until he's at a decent age. Because to be honest, he doesn't look ready to perform just yet. Maybe by the age of 18, he'll be good enough to actually play in a match. But as with most 16-year-olds, unless you've got a real world beater, usually it's a new gen or something, then they're probably not going to fit into your team straight away. So do bear that in mind. I'm not saying that he would usually walk into AZ's team. But we are going to simulate three years, see how he gets on playing consistent football, and hopefully he does well. So we are three years in the future here with AZ Alkmaar, and we can see instantly Ernest Poku is on one of the best player lists with the most assists at the club. Now before we go and look at how he's done, I'm going to ask you guys a quick quiz question. That's really hard to say, you have three words together, three cues. But anyway, I'm going to reveal the answer to it later in the video. So if you have the answer to the question, put it in the comments, and then later in the video you'll find out the answer. My question to you guys would be, which Eredivisie team did Mason Mount spend his first year of senior football at before making the big time at Chelsea and for England. So if you do know the answer, leave it in the comments down below and I'll reveal it when we do eventually simulate a few more years ahead with Ernest Poku. And now here he is, Ernest Poku, 19 years old now, valued at around £5 million. So there you go, even when he's only 19 after three years of development, if you had signed him for a million pounds, you could already sell him for £5 million. And as we know with values in this game, the likelihood is if you actually tried to buy him, he'd go for £10, £15 million. So already making plenty of money and he's nowhere near his maximum potential yet which just shows to you guys but even if he isn't at the high end of his range you can still sell him on for a nice profit but he's still got a long way to go here but physically he has developed quite nicely his pace and his acceleration along with his agility have improved massively it is probably some of his biggest strengths in his game now and that's just really useful in this match engine to be very quick so i think ernest poku has done well for himself there again nothing really too special but being fast is very good on the wing still only classes a two and a half star player but mentally he has developed very quickly his determination is now up to 14 We'll look at the details in a minute of how much everything has gone up, but instantly we can see composure, off the ball, decisions, flair, finishing, dribbling, passing, technique, all have improved quite a lot. And it looks like that even though he hasn't developed like some players might do, he still developed a fair bit in his three years at AZ. Bear in mind, this is being simulated with an assistant manager who isn't really taking good care of him. So you guys could probably do much better than this. But we can see he's actually been performing very well. I'm not saying that Eredivisie is the hardest league in the world, but it's not the easiest either. And he has gone on to have around 6.7 in his first two seasons as his average match rating which isn't great and then eventually hitting a seven next season but in that season he got 12 goals and 13 assists with three player of the match awards the season before that he scored eight goals with seven assists and before that eight goals with four assists now i've actually struggled to get a good return out of my wingers in this football manager so ernest poku is doing pretty well for himself he's just on a standard 4-2-3-1 gagan press tactic i haven't done anything special to make sure he performs well like put a secret tactic on that means that he scores loads of goals nothing like that just a standard inside forward in the attack role and he's done quite well i think goals and assists coming this early in his career like i said most people wouldn't use him at 16 and 17 years old but he's still turning in a pretty good return could be better could be a hell of a lot worse so Ernest poku is doing well for himself but if we do have a look at how he has developed in his time so far at az let's go to attributes let's have a look at all time to see across the three years we can see he's had some huge growth now there is still work to be done but he's had plus fours plus twos plus twos plus one a plus six here when we were training composure decisions have gone up by four off the ball gone up by two loads of improvements technically too including a plus four in technique so you do run the risk with these wonder kids that if you sign a 20 year old wonder kid obviously they're a bit further along in their development you know what you're going to get with a 16 year old he's very much up in the air in terms of how you train him how you mentor him and all that good stuff but i think we've done a good job with ernest here to make sure that he's kind of turning into the player that we want him to be already three years in i'm pretty sure there probably are quite a few better 19 year olds than him but 19 year olds that you can sign for one million pounds i'm not so sure so the 19 year old dutchman still hasn't had a cap for the national team he's starting to look like a usable player and he's getting a good return in the area of visa if this was real life a 19 year old pulling this off you know he's probably already going to get signed to a premier league team and that's what we're going to do we're going to move him to the premier league we're going to see how he gets on see how he performs check out his landmarks and all that see if he won any awards or anything so that being said let's fast forward until ernest poku is 25 years old and see how he's got on and here we are guys we've moved ernest poku to my favorite team chelsea going to be a subtle plug i always do it i say subtle it's not very subtle but if you guys want to go and check out my chelsea save on my channel the link to that will be in the description the save is now done only 16 ish episodes i think so you can watch it all quite quickly each episode is about 10 minutes each it's been quite a fun ride on that series we have ended it now but there are some big ideas coming for my channel so if you want to go check that out and subscribe that would mean a lot at the time of recording i actually need like three subscribers to get to a thousand so if you want to hop over there and help us hit a thousand or if we have already hit it then just keep hitting subscribe so i don't ever drop below a thousand please that would mean a lot so thank you if you 
you do go check it out, I think you will enjoy the Chelsea save. But yeah, here we are, 2029. I would be 29 years old here. This is this is not good. Football Manager does have a way of making you feel old, but here is Ernest Poku. We can see instantly he has 22 goals and is competing with the likes of Kai Havertz for Chelsea's top goal scorer award. We know Kai Havertz has been known for years as one of the best wonder kids in Football Manager, and Ernest Poku has kept up with him and has got 22 goals for himself. So we know that he's developed, we know that he's having a good season. So let's see how he's got on. But wait, here we are. Before we go and look at Poku, here is Mason Mount. I, I did ask you the question of which Eredivisie team did he get his first senior breakout, and Mason Mount now 30 year old had a breakout season for Vitesse I believe he won plenty of awards over there he played Chelsea youth football went over to Vitesse scored loads of goals and that was the season that got him the move to Derby the year after and then we know how it went from there starts playing in Chelsea's first team becomes an England international and apparently has 98 caps now so Mason Mount's had a very good career for himself but you're not here for Mason Mount are you you're here for Ernest Poku and here he is the player that you could sign for 1 million pounds is now valued at 67 million pounds now don't quickly click off just because you've seen his attributes because here's a lot more than his attributes say I've had a look at it now and he is absolutely insane like I know you're probably looking at it and thinking great mentals great physicals but maybe not that great technical as well I beg to differ purely on how he performs. So before we go into all that though, we can see physically he is pacey as anyone. He's going to be ripping people down that wing. He's got a bit taller too apparently. And of course he is still either footed, which makes him a very useful threat, which I'll show you why in a second. Mentals are probably his strongest attributes with 17 anticipation, 19 composure, 17 decisions, 18 off the ball and 17 vision with some nice flair, determination all mixed in there. Personality has gone up to fairly determined. He now has 16 technique, 14 passing, 13 long shots, 14 finishing, 15 dribbling, 14 first touch. He's not really lacking in any area other than maybe crossing but everything else for his position is perfect really. As long as we're seeing green and blues all around that's what matters and it doesn't matter if it is tackling and marking and long throws aren't important because that's not his job. He is also a three and a half star striker and if you look anticipation, composure, decisions, work rate, finishing. If we knew that this was how he was going to turn out I probably would have put him up front, got a couple of traits on him and he would have been scoring 50 goals a season probably but even better than that if you want him on the right wing he can do that job too. Either footed he is perfect for the job is Ernest Poku. 20 appearances for the Dutch international team scoring 11 goals and was also prolific for the under 21s but how has he done for Chelsea well we last saw him with AZ Alkmaar I moved him over for around 20 million pounds again bear in mind this is a guy who only costs 1 million pounds and you could definitely just keep him in your youth team loan him out and make profit but we can see after a shaky first season at Chelsea he has really picked it up he's hitting 6.9s and sometimes 7s in every season not the best but to be honest I think their average match ratings are a load of rubbish because looking at it, he has scored 11 goals and 5 assists in the Premier League. Then the next season, he's got 21 goals and 7 assists. You're telling me that someone like Hyunmin Son in real life is classed as like an, an amazing elite level winger. And Ernest Poku is out here getting 21 goals with 7 assists. Surely then he is in that same range as someone like a Hyunmin Son. Because look at him, 21 goals, 7 assists. The next season, 14 goals, 8 assists. Then another 15 goals, another 12 goals from left wing. Bear in mind, this is only in around... 38 appearances so if we add this up it's an average of about 22 goal contributions in 38 games so pretty much every other game he's getting a goal or an assist which in the Premier League is not an easy thing to do and also bear in mind that this is just the Premier League like if we look at this season here he actually scored 27 goals because he scored six in the continental competitions with three assists there in only 14 European matches and most recently as well he hit six goals in Europe and four goals in the cup with another three assists like he, he's just doing bits everywhere is uh, Poku his average match rating might not show it but we've seen before where we've got amazing players and their average match rating is like 6.5 or something if we go to his progress report for the last few years and check out how he's done since joining Chelsea I believe he was 19 then we can see his growth has only got better like like even though he had made great strides between 16 and 19 between 19 and 25 of course he's going to make a big improvement but he made a bigger improvement than I ever thought he would because physically he's only gone and gone better with strength balance also increasing alongside a bit of an increase in agility as well then he's got loads of increases mentally that we won't go through all of them but the fact that he's now on 17 vision and 18 off the ball alongside 19 composure so if you ever get a penalty you know that you want to put this guy on it even if he does only have 13 penalty taken he's not breaking a sweat is he 16 technique that's gone up by five since he's been at Chelsea he's obviously had better coaching at Chelsea too because they've got much better staff than AZ do and you can just see I won't go through all of them but his finishing his long shots everything's gone up he has shot up and he has became a top class player has he done anything particular in his milestones from what I could tell Chelsea weren't doing like amazingly well so I can't imagine he'll be getting a lot of the awards if Chelsea aren't doing well but they won the FA Cup they're Carabao Cup runners-up won the FA Cup again here I think they won the league at some point yeah they did they won the league 
in 2026. So competition wise, he did pretty well. Did he get any awards? A lot of like seasonal best 11s and team of the weeks. Let's look at if there's anything interesting. We can see here in the 2025-2026 season, he actually was runners up in the top goal scorer award in the Premier League. If we go and actually have a look at that, 25 to 26. Um, okay, he actually got the same amount of goals as the best striker in the league, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. But just because he played more matches, he didn't get the award. But bear in mind, Calvert-Lewin is a striker and his Poku is a left winger and has gone out and done that. So he's definitely an absolute star. There was no other real awards to talk about. But the fact that this guy is so versatile, like, like he's a great player, but can we just remember that you can get him for £1 million? Even if you did like a minus five on every attribute, this is still a very good player who you could sell for like 10, 20 times the amount you buy him for. And in this case, if we actually tried to sell him, we'd probably get like 100 million for a guy who he paid a million pounds for so this has been a growth test for Ernest Poku I hope you guys have enjoyed it again if you want to see me manage Chelsea or you want to see what we do next some very exciting plans on my channel feel free to check the link out to that in the description there's also a link to my new Twitter too like football manager based Twitter so if you want to go follow that that would mean a lot and of course if you did enjoy the video don't forget to hit the like button comment down below what you thought of Poku do you think he's a load of rubbish or do you think this is a player that for one million pounds you should sign I would suggest that most people would think that I think Ernest Poku is a great great player I hope you guys thought the same. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you did enjoy today's video. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. So stay safe, look after yourself, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.